Long time no see, guys. It has been a minute. I have been resting on an injury for two weeks now. Uh, on Super Bowl Sunday, I unfortunately had a, somehow sitting down at my kitchen table eating dinner, uh, tore a bunch of ligaments in my ankle. Uh, that night I was able to walk on it uh, that Sunday then Monday Tuesday Wednesday whole lot of pain My ankle swelled up to like a grapefruit had to get x-rays MRI saw an orthopedic person They sent me to a specialist basically long story short my ankle is So that being said I've been having to rest on it. I've been having to let it heal I finally um, just the past couple days have been able to actually walk. I got crutches uh, And I also have a scooter and a boot now so I'm having to deal with that. Luckily, God has blessed me with a left foot. Uh, so I'm kind of able to drive, but that was like the main problem is that I, I wasn't even able to get into my car or anything like that. Um, just so much pain. But basically my ankle, I have a, um, basically like a benign tumor. They found like a little mass in my ankle and I guess I had hurt it before, injured it. Uh, it was putting like a whole bunch of pressure in like my synovial joint area. And then I guess, I just did one little movement of my ankle and then that was just, uh, I don't know, my li my ligaments just said skirt and uh, they just all snapped across my ankle, that little band. So it's a high ankle sprain. The doctor said three to four months. I'm just gonna have to continue to let it heal and just um, drive around with my left foot. So if you're coming out here within the next month or two, I might be uh, on like a scooter or crutches uh, going around. Luckily, I don't have to have surgery or anything like that. So we're all good. Um, I'm very, very happy about that, even though um, I have been in a, in a bunch of pain, but it's it's been better. So uh, anyway, so neighborhood tour, we're gonna get right back into it. Artesia is where I'm going. I can't even like say the name because my mouth is so cold. It's like 25 degrees out. We just had like another cold front come in. Winsong Ranch was on that left side there. Uh, here's all like their little shopping area, retail stuff, Domino's. Here we go, right into Artesia. This is a big master plan community. It's a lot older than like the Winsong Ranch or a bunch of Lakes on Legacy or Lakes of Legacy. Uh, some of the other communities that are along 380. This is just a little bit deeper, not too crazy. Um, man, it feels so good to be back in my car driving around doing videos and stuff. Like this is awesome. I, man guys, it was tough like just for two weeks. Anyways, all right. So um, yeah, a little bit deeper in here, started getting built in 2006 i'm gonna go through their older part their first phase kind of notice some of the older um older homes in here kind of kind of have a different feel as i go down further um, megatel was building some new construction homes in here and then on this left side there's their amenity center they have like another amenity center further back uh, as well there's a playground on the left side and then um but right now, I looked on the MLS. Right now, average um, medium price, 560000 They do have some in the low end. Uh, there was one listed at like 390000 but I got but it got bidded up to 450000 uh, which is a pretty good amount. Let's see. This is the school right over here. And then on the high end in here, 672000 so, uh, and that was like 179 per square foot. Uh, the average square foot's like 210 to 220. Uh, if you're getting that smaller layout, it's gonna be higher upwards of like 220. I've seen some, uh, there was one listed in here at like 240 uh, price per square foot. I don't think this is a bad location or anything. Uh, there is like a little bit of underdevelopment with like the roads kind of leading out of here, but that's just with Prosper and these, the Salina area. Um, you're gonna have that so there there might be some construction you're gonna have to deal with over the next um, three to five years they are expanding 380 so that's gonna be nice for you guys I have a serious problem right now anybody else have this problem one two three four five uh, guys there's like 12 more of them I have a problem I have a problem I don't anybody else just like collecting water bottles in their cars you gotta drink the water, Daniel, before you open another bottle. So the school district here, Prosper ISD, Stuber Elementary School, Rushing Middle School, and then Prosper High School. Uh, go check out some of my, uh, go check out my pros and cons of living in Prosper. I have a video over the high school and what that looks like. It looks like a college, but 
um, give you guys a good idea of what the uh, school district looks like. That's not too far away from here. All the schools are pretty close. Within this neighborhood, they do uh, have a couple clubhouses. I'll go by their little uh, fitness center as well. And then they have like a green belt playgrounds. And then uh, they also built a dog park within here. And here's another little open field area. I don't know, I don't really see, I see some of these master plan communities just put like a big field with nothing on it. I don't know, sometimes it's just, like, like just put a soccer net. I mean, something out there for the people. The HOA fees in here, uh, it's gonna be about average, kind of like the other neighborhoods around here, 332 semi-annual. Um, it is a little bit on the lower side. It's not gonna have like a lifestyle director. The homes in here are gonna be a little less customized looking. Um, they're gonna look all the same within here. It's gonna be mostly just brick and stone. Uh, some of those other master plan communities are gonna offer a lot more customization. And then a little bit about the market and uh, give you guys an idea over a current house uh, and the specs that it got um, sold at just last January, at the end of January. Um, a house got sold in here, it was a four bed, three and a half bath, 3,000 square feet. It was a 2012 pre-owned, was listed at $549,000 and sold for $672,000. So that one got bidded up pretty good as well. I think that's just what Prosper Market's gonna be like right now uh, and for a minute. Oh, well that's, that's a problem. The, uh, looks like the water busted here. Had to wipe off my lens, we were getting wet over in the splash zone. I don't know if that's gonna be a quick fix, that sucks. Um, I haven't seen any reports over like a uh, bunch of like water damage or pipes freezing or anything like that on like Facebook groups, kind of like it was last year with the uh, uh, freeze. Um, I haven't heard any bad reports of that. I don't know what the deal with that. Um, poor guy's having to fix that fire hydrant and freezing cold. Here's their dog park. Um, I don't know if you can call that a dog park, more or less just like a little dog thing. Um, all right, let's go down this way, show you guys. It's more of their new construction house, but most of these houses in here, you're gonna see Megatel, and then a little bit about this area and your commute to places. So if you're going to downtown Dallas, it's gonna be like a 40 minute commute, uh, which is pretty hefty. I don't really know if you wanna do that every day, uh, if you are having to commute down to there. Fort Worth, it's gonna be like a 55 an hour minute drive. So if you're worried about maybe having to uh, go out to Fort Worth or being re relocated for work or if your work's going to move to Fort Worth. I don't know if this area would be good for you. It would be good if you're like in the Frisco, McKinney, uh, Plano, any of those um, businesses around there. I think any of any of that's going to be easy to get to 20, 20, 25 minutes. You just hop on 380. You're on the tollway in no time. Uh, there is some stuff getting built along 380, amenities, movies, uh, like movie theaters. Uh, you have all your shopping. You got the Gates of Prosper that's five minutes away. Uh, so you'd be able to do all your grocery shopping and then also, you know, and then go out to like restaurants as well over there. They're building a whole bunch of stuff in that area. Um, Jerry Jones just keeps on buying property over there, but that's his development. Um, so that's where you're going to do most of your shopping. And then down to Frisco and like Legacy West, it's like 15 minutes. Not too, not too bad. And then the PGA headquarters, uh, which is getting built right now and should be done within the next couple of years. That's only about five, 10 minutes away. That's just across 380. So that's super easy to get to. Uh, so if you're like a golfer into something like that, um, this area could be a good option. Man, I tell you what guys, it does feel good to be back. My ankle is, uh, is just sore now. Like beforehand, I was having this killing, killing, uh, stabbing pain um, but that is gone I mean I have some medicine ibuprofen can only do so much guys all right here's their other clubhouse this is where like their fitness center is and I'll go back around down this way 
then text me Artesia if you're interested in this neighborhood or Prosper if you want any more details. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I feel like um, a lot of the builders are going into their next phases. So March, April, uh, I think a lot of people within the Prosper, whoa, hey now, holy smokes. It was coming in hot into this roundabout. You can't, you can't be going hot into a roundabout. Got to deliver that pizza. Guys, let's just give it one good, uh, man, it feels good to be going around a roundabout, I'll tell you that. Didn't know when I was gonna be able to do that again. And we also had hail this past week, uh, which that was pretty interesting, but just another thing. Uh, they do offer three car garages in this neighborhood, so I wanna think about that. Hail does pop out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, text me Artigia or Prosper if you're interested in this area. A lot of builders right now, March, April, I'm hearing talks. Uh, I'm on a bunch of interest lists. This past two weeks, I've just been sitting on my computer just typing away emails, um, firing a whole bunch of questions out to these different builders on what their interest, interest um, lists are, what their VFP lists are. So if you want more information over anything, any new construction going on in anywhere over in Argyle um, or East Dallas too, let me know. Uh, I probably have a good answer for you. I'm gonna be sticking to the neighborhood tours right now, not really doing any like property tours or Airbnb tours. Not that you guys even like kind of care about those because the views on those are like not as high as the neighborhood tours. But yeah, I can't really walk. I mean, if I did those videos, the video camera would be like with a limp the whole time. So I'm gonna be just sticking to like neighborhood tours, which you guys seem to really like still. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, take it easy. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.